What are some essential equipment to shoot a music video? What gear is absolutely required to make one? If you've wondered questions like these, then keep watching because I'm gonna share some great tools that will help you make your next music video. So let's fast off and get started. Konnichiwa friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better indie artist. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music and every Wednesday on this channel, I'm helping others take their music to level two. If that sounds good, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell. If not, then I don't know why you're here because obviously everyone who has viewed a video ever on YouTube subs to every single channel that they watch. I definitely do that. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> All right, making a music video, as I've said many times, is one of my favorite parts of the music industry. Your art gets to come to life. So I've got plenty of videos on this channel to help you out. Some recommendations are in the description. But today specifically, I'm gonna share some essential gear you should have, and then I'll share some advanced stuff as well. Also, product links are in the description below. So here we go. Number one, lots and lots of lighting. Lighting is your biggest, most bestest friend when it comes to making a music video. It's one of the few things that I actually tell people is worth spending money on because it really makes a difference on limiting any potential graininess your video might have. It helps really improve the quality of your video. And I recommend the Photo Pro Super Lamp, which usually comes as a bundle with stands, but basically the more lighting you get, the better. Number two, a camera. You're obviously going to need something to shoot your music video with, but you can absolutely do it with just an iPhone. You don't need to go out and buy a super expensive camera, spending thousands and thousands of dollars, when the camera in your pocket will do just fine. Selena Gomez shot her videos for Look At Her Now and Lose You To Love Me on an iPhone, and one of those songs went number one on the Billboard Hot 100. So trust me, you can make it work and work well. Number three, a tripod or a gimbal. You're definitely gonna need some sort of device for stability for your camera that will make your footage not look so shaky, or at least not shake so much that it ruins your shots. They don't typically cost a whole lot, depending on how advanced you wanna go. A gimbal is great for handheld stability, while the tripod you can set your camera on and film from a distance. Number four, speakers for playback. Since this is a music video, you'll need to be playing the song while you film, so the editor can sync up your singing to the way your song plays on the recorded version. Or if it's a more intimate shoot and things are closer, just play it loudly through your phone. That works great too. And number five, at least two to three people helping you out. This isn't gear, obviously, but it's worth mentioning because having extra hands on set is super helpful. One person shooting, one person in charge of playback, a gaffer, AKA somebody controlling the lighting, and you is a great simple setup. If you can, have someone filming behind the scenes too, because that's great content for you as well. Advanced recommendations? If you've got a higher budget, a drone is a worthy investment for aerial shots. They add a great amount of depth to your video and make it look really expensive. There are great drones on the market that are continuously improving, so consider grabbing one if it fits the vibe of your video and the location. An adjustable backdrop stand and screens is also a worthy investment because then you can make anywhere a set. If you can, I would say get two, but one is more than sufficient. They just make it easier to block things out and transform different areas, or you can add special effects with a green screen. And everything you purchase is evergreen too. You can use it over and over again. Just make sure you iron those backdrops. Learn that the hard way. So those are some essential gear for a music video. Question of the video, what essential gear are you getting next? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you wanna check out my series on how to make a low budget music video look really professional, I've left some links in the description so you can check it out. And if you like me and you like what I do, consider following me on Spotify or joining me on Patreon for all sorts of fun rewards and exclusive content. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller and I will see you next time. See you later. I am a machine, not a robot, not an operation Electronically, my messages are